You know that whole adult coloring book craze <laughs> out there? Well, I never paid much attention to it, but I can tell you, since I've become a parent, I really, really, really pay attention to it now. It's amazing just how soothing it can be to choose different colors, to pick a pattern, in this case a bus full of people, and to color it in, to watch the movement of the pencil or the crayon, and to, to try to stay in the lines. You don't have to stay in the lines, but I find that quite relaxing. And to really give yourself over to this. All right, so where did this come from? Well, before I became a parent, and even now I struggle with this, I had really, really awful battles with anxiety and stress. And I would carve out time in my day for meditation, right? Time for mindfulness practice. And I had the energy to do that. And I found that since I've become a parent, of course, naturally, there's less time for those things. You know, my child requires a lot of attention, like most children do. And time that I might normally spend meditating or, or doing a, a formal mindfulness practice is given over to my kiddo. And then one day I realized that it was the thing that I was doing right now with my kid that was my opportunity. Like squeezing Play-Doh between your fingers, clicking in abacus if you happen to have an abacus around. Sorting different colored beads and listening to the sound that they make. And of course, cleaning them up after they spill. If you've seen my other videos or if you've heard me speak or whatever, you know that I'm really big on practicing mindfulness with whatever's in front of you right now, whether that's a sink full of dirty dishes, whether it's a bed that needs to be made, or whether it's coloring a bus full of people. That's the thing that's been given to you in that moment to practice. So instead of thinking, well, this job or, or a child is taking away my time, to do something and I don't have any time to practice these things. I know that mindfulness habits or meditation habits, these are things I want to get into but I just don't have time. That's really the trick, isn't it? That's the script flip. That it's the thing that's in front of you that's your best opportunity to practice. And I found that simple things like immersing myself in a coloring project or even having like a super conscious snack with my kiddo have really become times where I've calmed down, I've relaxed, and in some ways more than the practices that I used to do. So challenge yourself. Pick something, an activity in your day that you didn't think would really be something that could calm you down. Maybe it's something at work, maybe it's something around the house, and practice with it. Give yourself over, if you have kids, give yourself over to a children's book. Give yourself over to a coloring project. If you don't, find something else to do. Fold laundry in a way where you're paying total attention to it. Go out and do yard work. Pick weeds in a way where you're super conscious of it. Anything. Flip the script. Don't wait for the perfect opportunity to practice. Make any moment the perfect opportunity to practice. Good luck.